If you don't have a 3D printer in your office, you are missing out. Let me explain. 3D printing has been around for a long time. I was exposed to this in the 90s working in engineering, and it had limitations at the time. The printers were expensive, the materials that were being used were brittle, they didn't last very long, and so those things kept them from being readily available. But as anything in life, with given a little bit of time and a little bit of effort, the, the, the product has gotten better and better and better. And so we got, finally got to the point where we could have a desktop printer that was relatively inexpensive, that was relatively fast, that had good quality materials, and boom, now we have exactly what we're looking for. But a lot of times people say, well, uh, I don't really know if I really want to make an investment in printing right now. And I, and I was quite honestly a little resistant to it because I don't like doing dishes, so I didn't want to clean the plate. So I was a little resistant to it, but boy, was I wrong because the advantages of having a printer in your office are so numerous that we would have to have a conversation for well over an hour to cover them all. But it, 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 it comes down to efficiencies that you haven't even begun to think about yet. And let me explain. Let's say you have a case and you need something printed. You need a tooth printed. You need a surgical guide printed. You need something printed. You can have a designer anywhere on the planet design that solution for you. They can be in Vietnam. They can be in Israel. They can be in Egypt. They can be in London. They can be anywhere, which means that you have access to 24 hour, all day long labor. So at any point you can, you can rely on someone who's awake because they're awake when we're asleep and vice versa. So you have the ability and they, they do the work. You verify the digital plan and then they send the print job to your printer. It zap, your printer just starts printing your solution. And in a matter of minutes, you have your temporary, you have your surgical guide, whatever you're printing, you have your models, they're there. And so that's the first thing is that this, this globalization, this ability to use a worldwide network of laboratories, where it used to be what? It used to be you had your local lab, right? Your, your local lab that you, did, that you leaned on because they were local, you could run things back and forth. Well, now you can send files through the internet so you can use the entire world. You don't have to run across town, you just send it around the world. And so that's what I'm saying is that efficiency is just incredibly powerful. The second thing is, is that we have the new Midas printer that just came out this year. Uh, is, this video is being created in 2025. Uh, it, when it came out, it allows us to print three separate crowns in eight minutes or three, uh, three sets of, of, of three, uh, basically nine veneers in, in, nine, in eight minutes. And so this technology is a game changer because I can, I can place a dental implant I can scan it and then I can design and print a, a crown, a non-functional provisional within minutes and screw it right into the mouth without having to make any adjustments to contacts. Zenith height looks great, contacts look great, and the patient's wearing a beautiful temporary until they're done healing. And remember, we've said it a number of times on the show, maintain, not regain. What we want to do is we want to maintain the hard and soft tissue around that extraction socket and there's no better way than doing that then place in an implant, gap grafting, and then place in a non-functional provisional to socket seal everything in place and to hold that tissue. Well, we used to do that with a prefabricated provisional using the Stanley S wings, right? And I thought, wow, this is great. And like I said, the technology moves so fast. We only invented that a couple years ago. It's already obsolete because now we have a printer that can print in eight minutes. So why would I, why would I uh, fabricate a prefabricated crown, which might need a few adjustments to make it perfect, and it's never quite perfect, it's close, versus just scan it chair side right after you place the implant, scan it, and in a matter of minutes, you have a perfectly fitting provisional. And so this is just uh, amazing. If you're working in the aesthetic zone, this is the way to go. And then with, with regards to like just um, smile trials, you know, 
smile trials used to be, hey, Mrs. Smith, you're, you're interested in some veneers or some sort of cosmetic improvement. We'll take a model. We'll do a wax up. You come back and look at the wax up. The wax up didn't, never looked like the real patient. So maybe you would do a putty stent and do a, a Luxatemp try-in on the patient. And these things all took time and effort. Well, now you take a digital scan. You do a digital mock-up, and then you print on your on your Midas printer, you print nine veneers, preferably 10, and then you take those 10 veneers, and you insert them in the mouth as a smile trial for pennies. I mean, the cost to you is pennies. The time to you is maybe an hour total workup time, and you're putting into the mouth something that looks spectacularly beautiful. No more uh, Photoshop mock-ups, no more digital DSD mock-ups, no more uh, uh, Luxatemp try-ins with smile trials. These things look great. And the patient goes, oh my God, I had no idea I could look like this. They look to their, they look to their spouse or their loved one and they go, look at this. And the loved one's going, oh my God, you look great. And then bam, they're moving forward with improving their quality of life. So, you know, using this technology in your practice is, is going to open up doors for you that you've never thought of before. The, if, the, the amount of uh, return on that investment is so fast, you, you shouldn't even think about the investment. You should just stroke the check right now and go get you one. And so what, what should you get? Well, should you get a regular printer or should you get this Midas one that prints the, the veneers and the crowns? Well, it depends on your practice, but in general, what I would suggest is, is that I would start off with the bigger printer. And the reason is, is the bigger printer allows you to print models. It allows you to print surgical guides and allows you to print crowns. So, so from big to small, all, everything is included. The Midas, it currently, it only prints small things, okay? So unless you're only printing small things, then you would want to buy the bigger printer. What's the time of the bigger printer? It's 23 minutes. It's not bad, guys. So you can still do these things really, really quick. You don't have to have eight minutes. It's nice to have eight minutes. And when you get around to it, eight minutes is good. But 23 minutes is pretty fast. And the technology that they've invented that they've put into the Midas that allows them to do that in eight minutes, anyone with half a brain knows that that technology is scalable. So what does that mean? Well, it means they're going to scale that technology into the full arch. So I suspect within a matter of months to year that you are going to have a new printer coming out that is going to be able to print a full arch in eight minutes or maybe even faster. So now there's no limitations. You remember when Syrac came out and we could do a crown and we could do like a turnkey crown Two hours, we were just so, so excited. No temporary crowns. Everybody thought this was a, you know, a game changer. Still, really powerful. Chairside milling, very powerful. Chairside printing is just as revolutionary. And so if you're not printing, you've got to look into that technology. I really encourage you to do that. This has been another episode of Implants Made Simple. I'm Dr. Robert Stanley, the Smile Engineer. If you've liked this video, please give us a follow, and we'll see you in the next video.